So you guys, today we are sitting down with Christine Yi, who is a food influencer on Instagram and elsewhere. Um, has some pretty interesting, inspiring life experiences and stories. We're gonna get to that in a second, but first, she and her husband, James Tracy, a chef here in New York, created a chili oil line. Yep. We have two types. All right, so Let's discuss. Let's break it down first. This is like our child, like our original child. That's why it's called the original. Okay. It's because the one it's the one we came up with and we, it took us it took us years, three years to wow. develop this. Wait, I love that. So what are the main ingredients in this if you're selling this to um, somebody? Of course, Szechuan pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ginger and garlic. It's a lot of ginger and garlic. Um, and then there's a, just a ton of spices, which you might or might not expect. So, mm -hmm. like, black cardamom is more common in chili oil. Star mm -hmm. anise is in it. Mm -hmm. But then there are, like, some other things where you're just like, wow. And it's so, like, it's, like, under flavors. Yeah. And, um, but the, and then the way James makes it, he gives it so it has that, like, really roasted, smoky quality. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, what you don't find in a lot of other chili oil. Interesting. So I'm learning a little bit about this now because of Octar. Do you toast your spices? Of course. Okay, so I think that's just like an of course thing that happens yes. in the kitchen world. And actually, okay. I read that in Octar's cookbook. You did? Okay. Yes, and how like <laughs> you should toast all your spices. Yes. But James does it all the time. Okay. I just do it now after reading Octar's cookbook. Okay, great. <laughs> and now we have the yes, spicy one. The, the spicy is spicy. Is it? <laughs> I'm just letting you know. The spicy is spicy. And there are people oh who love the spicy. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I really do like spicy. Okay. So but, people who, there are people who go through it. Like they order four jars at once. They order it every other month. It's like, I am like, dang. Okay. Wait, I'm actually really excited to try that and see what my reaction is. Because I like to think that I am good with spices. Because yes. I take my crushed red pepper and I go through one of like those containers every week. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I'd like to think so. <laughs> we are going to do three unexpected pairings of foods that you might not think would pair well with chili oil, but they do. I hope. Okay, oh. so wait, let's rewind. So we are going to try new pairings and see how it goes. Yeah. So we've never done this before. Here no, we go. first time. Oh we my god! That. Wait! It's awesome. That is fantastic. So like at first I was kind of like, mm, but then as you get the whole mango flavor with the chili oil, it's so good. Sorry, another. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna be that person. No, me too. Oh my god. Oh my god. I say it to everyone, I feel like chili oil can kind of go with anything. Um, All right, so I want you to try the spicy okay. before <sighs> you, <laughs> and it's not because, not to frighten you, <laughs> but it's just because it's very spicy, so I want you to, I want you to experience it first, okay. and like, let it sit, and, because it lingers, and then it's, it's a long heat. Is that like a lot? Well, it's, a, it's up to you, so. <laughs> All right, you guys. I think the mango pie will help it, mm -hmm. but just wait for it now. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? It's like, oh, yeah. It's on that finish. It's uh -huh. a long heat. Wow. That's like really going yes. down my esophagus. One moment. That's really spicy. Give it a second. <gasps> Woo. So I, but I, delicious. I, I, I make um, vinaigrette out of chili oil all the time. That's okay, so next, guys, chocolate. Dark chocolate fudge brownie. That sounds great. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay. There's like a real swirl of chocolate in there. Ooh. I, I won't judge you if you just go over it. Yeah, maybe I'll go over it. <laughs> Are you ready? And you've never had this either. I've never had this either. So we're both guinea pigs in that situation. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Wow! Oh my That's god, who knew? This is actually great with it. It really is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna add a little spice. <laughs> I really think I can handle it. There's something about this dark chocolate situation that really makes me feel 
I'm not gonna add spice, but I think so too. <laughs> Wow, it's really good. Like that Mexican hot chocolate. Yes! Okay, wait, I'm sorry. I just need another bite. The I spice is really so good with it. I was really cleaning it, clearing out my sinuses too. Now I have to go home and have like a chocolate mango sundae with chili oil. Yes! <laughs> with maybe a dollop of uh, <laughs> cheese on it. <laughs> All right, we're back to... Let's give it a go, the final. So we call this a poisse. Oui? Oui. A oui, poisse. oui. So this is from a tiny little region in France, super stinky, buttery, mm. like texture, super soft. Yeah, very stinky. Very stinky. It was like very ripe and stinky. Oh yeah. This is another one of those things you can smell mm. from like down the hall. Uh-huh. So this I've tried before. Okay. So just to be, you know, and this is to be upfront with you. I have done this before, and but it's so good. I wanted you to experience it too. Oh, I can't wait. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. It's such a perfect balance with this cheese. Like you would never expect these two flavors to go so well together at all, especially when you smell that. Mm -mm. But yeah, because it smells mushroomy, garlicky almost. Of like funk. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Most people can't even eat it because it smells so strong. No, I love it. I love it too. I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get one more spoonful. Don't judge me. What a lunch we're having. I know. I love this. <laughs> this might be like, what wine would we pair this with if we were going to? Champagne. Ugh, of champagne course. With everything. <laughs> you can never go wrong with champagne. It's exactly correct. Right. I wish I had some right now. I guess I can serve us some. I'm really proud of our little chili I'm proud oils. of it for you too. Thank you. Okay, so something that also I think is so inspiring about your story, in addition to like so many things, there was a call in your life that happened that kind of shifted the entire course of your life. It was in 2012. Okay. And my sister, who had just turned 40, was diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh and uh, she called me. We had just celebrated her 40th birthday in Vegas and had the best time. And, and she called me and she was like, I have to tell you something. And of course, I'm like about to tear up. Because I was like, at, even at the time, I was like, she's telling me, it was like, she was like, I was just diagnosed with breast cancer. I went through my 40th birthday, you know, my 48th year mammogram. And that was my first time. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I was at work. And she's like, um, but I'm not calling to tell you this because I want you to worry. I am going to be fine. She, they, luckily, they caught it early, and they were, you know, they were very, very optimistic that she would be fine, which she is. Thank yeah, God. thank God. But um, she said, "But every time I speak to you these days, you're so unhappy. She said, you hate. You're so unhappy with your work. You're unhappy with your husband. You know, at the time, and I was like." And it's true. Every time I was like, you know, it just feels, everything just feels so, uh, like nothing is exciting anymore. Yeah. And she's like, and I'm just calling to remind you. She's like, and you know this too well, life is too short. Yeah. And at the time. <laughs> oh my God. You know, it's like. At the time I was so concerned about her that I heard her, but I was like, what's next for you? And, yeah. you know, and she did her treatment. She had a surgery, she had treatment. I was out there for, she was in San Francisco, so I was out there for everything. And after her surgery, I took the red eye home to go straight to work. Um, but I had worked out, was working out in the morning. And my husband and I were sit, standing in the kitchen, having water. He's having some breakfast after we work out, before we go to work. And I said, I think we should separate. And he was like, are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, my God. And I was like, are you happy? And he looked at me and just said, I'm fine. And... We had been married, I guess at the time, five, seven years, in the last seven years. And I was like, I don't want to be fine. Yeah. I want to be happy. Yeah. I want to wake up every day and be happy. Soon after my uh, husband and I decided to separate, I told my boss, I said, hey, like, my husband and I are separating and I'm going to leave the job too. 
And it was kind of some big life change. <laughs> it was all like within two months, three months. Um, like a couple of days later, I was having drinks with a girlfriend who she's like one of my closest friends on the planet. And she's, I told her the news. And of course she's like, oh, yeah. she was like, what are you going to do with yourself? And I was like, honestly, I have no idea. I just know that I want to eat well and be happy. Wow! I just got an iPhone and she looks at my office and she goes, you need, to, you need to start Instagramming. And I said, I have no idea what Instagram is. Wait, this was 2012? November 2012. So you were, you are one of the first influencers. <laughs> Truly! Something like that, yeah. That's amazing! She said, there are fashion people who are like making money out of this, doing this as a job. She's like, soon food will follow. She's clearly ahead of her time. So she put Instagram on. And I was like, I do not understand what this is. Is this ugly filter? Yeah. At the time, it was like ugly filters. But I posted my first photo. I had no idea what it was. Started getting some followers. Nothing happened. Okay. Nothing happened. 2013 goes on. I'm like, I'm just trying to figure out what Instagram is and what I want to do with my life. Okay. Nothing happens. 2014, I start dating this guy. Okay. Who is obsessed with Instagram. Oh. I met him on Instagram. Well, that's I met term. him through Instagram. What? Did he DM you? He did. Did he slide like, into he had, DMs? I don't even know if there were DMs. Oh. <laughs> he had like a five month, like very crazy, intense romance uh-huh. that was very, like very all about Instagram. Oh. Because he was still liking all these other girls' photos. No. Yes. But, but oh. he and I had a great relationship oh, okay. besides all these things. Okay. But he broke up with me in December. What he did help me see was how Instagram worked. Yeah. Like, because he had many more followers than I did. He had like three or 4,000 followers and I had like 500. Okay. And so he would be like, he would tag me in something. He'd be like, did you get any followers? <laughs> and like, I actually did. Yeah. And I'd get like 15 or 20 followers from these girls that all followed him that he was like liking all their pictures. Oh, God. And, um, and so I was kind of like, oh, I get it. Like. People like seeing this and people like the interaction yeah. and there was a lot of things, right? Like yeah. that you kind of have to do. Yeah. Um, it's, it certainly wasn't the Instagram of now. Instagram of now is like insane. insane and like you have to do very different cool things to like stand out and there's just such a large population of people. It's over a billion users. It's wild. So it's like, it is wild. But then it was a smaller community uh-huh. where you could really stand out more easily if uh-huh. you just toasted pretty photos. Yeah, that's it. Um, so I decided I'm just going to start doing this. Like seriously, I was so into him and so into like trying to figure my life out that at the time I was like, Instagram, sure, like I'm starting to get it. But after we broke up, I was like, I'm going to start doing this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do it for real. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give myself three years. Oh, and that's it. And if I don't make, if I can't turn this into a job after three years, uh-huh. then I will go and find another job. Can you tell us what you made year one? Zero. Zero. Year two? I made zero dollars. Okay. Year two. Okay. Year one and year two, I made zero dollars. Okay. Um, I mean, and then year three. Did it change? I made, I got my first project. It was like September-ish. It was late in a year. Okay. It was $39. Wow! But you made it so you could keep going. Yes. <laughs> no, we hit the marker. Legitimately, I went from getting paid $39 for one post on some snack bag or something. I don't even remember what it was. Um, and then a month later, someone reached out and offered me $5,000 to do one post. Wow, and then no. came back a week later and offered me $10,000 to do two posts. For, I want to say Walmart or something. Wow. And I mean, I was like amazed, right? And then I was, and then in that four months from between September and December, I made $30,000. Oh my God. You must have like freaked freaked out. out. Well, I had also gone from like, again, like I was at like a thousand followers in 2015, maybe, maybe 1500. I went to 10,000 in September. I went to a hundred thousand the following September. So when I hit a hundred thousand is when people started reaching out to me. Like it was right around then. And people would reach out to you. Do you ever reach out? I never reached out to anyone. I've never done any outreach to anybody ever. That makes you even cooler because that's like a big deal. (laughs) Thank you so much for like sharing your soul and your food and (laughs) 
everything. Like, crying the whole time. No, <laughs> yeah. you know, don't apologize. I like live for like vulnerability more than anything. <laughs> it's like the only thing we can like really give people and like to show of ourselves. You know. Thank you so much. So <gasps> I've been doing this for years now, yeah. and it still to me smells so good every time I like James cooks with it at home. We do a lot of roasted vegetables, and it's like. Yeah. I can cook, I can smell it coming out of all and I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. For people who don't cook, do you think that you should make a candle of it? Because it's so oh my God, good. I love 